The real trouble in year one is the dictums. How to get a good script out. If you tell a writer that the characters can't have conflict between them, you're just cutting his legs off. Some writers chafed against Gene's vision of a better future where there was no conflict. The essence of, of drama is conflict. There was no evil. There's no money anymore. There was no jealousy. There's no fighting anymore. No separate individual goals or ideas. We negotiate. No tension. What? I like the dramatic constraints it put on me as a writer. Really? Well, I had to find new ways to tell stories. When you look at the original series, there's a lot of conflict between those characters. They argue a lot. The crewmen on the Enterprise are yelling at each other. If our people are perfect and have no problems or conflicts between them, there is no story here. We would walk around in each other's offices going, I don't know how to write about that. I don't know how to write about perfect people. That was Gene's vision of Star Trek The Next Generation. Take it or leave it, and work within it or don't. So the dictums gave the writers a lot of stress and struggle, and then, in most cases, Gene would just take the scripts and he would just rewrite them. And these writers were not used to that and that was very, very frustrating and a lot of writers left. And the turnover that first season was 30 writers uh, and staff members left the show. The first season of a TV show with that kind of turnover? There was a writer who wrote an episode. He was a huge Star Trek fan. He was so excited. Gene called him to say congratulations. And Gene told him how great it was. The next day, Gene came to him and said, I'm sorry, friend, but we're, having, we're gonna have to part company. And he thought, oh my God, Gene is leaving the show. And then found out that the furniture in his office had been moved into the hallway. And that's how he found out he was fired, and he lasted about a week.